Hi, my planner friends. Julie Jill Mooney here today to do a flip through of my August Backyard Blooms setup with Coco Daisy. And so let's get started. So the first thing is this gorgeous pouch. I just love it with the yellow tassel. So I'll be using that this month. And then with it, I'll be using the zippered sticker folder and it just perfectly holds stickers and it is yellow dots and it is from April, but it perfectly matches what I have going on this month. So I'm gonna be using it again. And then I just wanted to mention a couple of outliers that are not in my planner, but are so gorgeous. Um, this is the vellum, the foil vellum from the planner classified kit. And you can see I cut a piece out of it. That is the size of my phone. I would show you, but I'm using my phone to film and I, I cut it out with my silhouette for my iPhone and it slipped in the back of my clear case. And so this is what the back of my iPhone looks like right now. I feel like I have one at life on that. And this gorgeous piece of vellum is going in here. I just haven't decided how yet, but this vellum is so vibrant and gorgeous. It is definitely going in here, even if it's just for me to punch it and stick it in there. But I kind of held off on doing that because I might do something different with it. So we'll have to see in the next week if I do something different or if I just punch it and stick it in there. But I did want to show it you that. That was also from the Planner Classified Kit. So I do have a couple of bead chains that are left over from past kits. They are from Sparkle Princess Co. My swag on the front is from Fur and You. And my binder this month is a Philofax Domino. And I think the color is lemon, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So let's dig in because there's a lot to see. So um, I will probably put a little uh, glue dot there, uh, not a permanent one, but to hold that closed because I am doing a kind of faux pocket with a piece of paper. And so um, I just made this pocket out of planner paper. You can see it's the folded over planner paper from the planner kit. And then I used three of the cards from the memory keeping pocket kit. And then this August here was cut down from the dashboard kit. And I made my own tassel here. I have a video coming out soon on how to do that if you want to know. And then I used the puffy stickers from the memory keeping kits. Um, that little dragonfly right there was from the planner add-on kit. This adorable orange bow is from the planner classified kit. Little white bulldog clip was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. Uh, the embroidered bird is from the planner kit. And uh, let's see what else I have in here. Simon was from August. Uh, this cute little floral ribbon. Oh, I can't remember. I'm thinking that was a planner add-on kit. Can't remember. And then this clip was from a past kit. I can't remember which one. But if any of these items that I said were from kits, um, there are a lot of things on the Coco Daisy site right now that are just like, instead of having to buy a whole kit, I know you can buy that bow. I know you can buy that clip. Um, I think you might be able to buy those clips. You can buy the bulldog clips. So there are a lot of things that you can buy individually. This teeny tiny little felt pink clip, I think that might have been from February. That was really cute. So, um, I have a piece of acetate here to protect the, all of this stuff from digging into this here. I vowed that I was not going to use this page because generally I don't like that tab. So I cut that tab off if I put it in my planner, but I'm using it for archival purposes. So I can't cut it off, but this was just so gorgeous. And I just love there shall be eternal summer in the grateful heart. So um, this is from the A5 loose papers. And I just, I just had to put it in there. So, so I went ahead and did that. And so I'm doing the month on one page from the back of that. Um, I was not planning on doing this. So this was going to be my first page. And um, so I had already created this when I just decided I couldn't help it had to put this in there. So, um, so I made this kind of partial page here and I used the pom-pom trim from the uh, planner classified kit. 
and uh, the August letters are from the classic sticker kit. This paper right here is the cover of the Traveler's Notebook from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. Uh, I just trimmed it down and I used the cover here. And then I used the paper over here from the planner kit. And um, let's see what else I have here. This yellow tassel was from a previous kit. I'm thinking maybe June of last year. I have no idea, really, to tell you the truth. Um, this little felt dangle is from Fur and You. And if you notice, I don't mind mixing metals. So I have silver, I have gold, I have rose gold. I have all of the above in here. So um, on the back of it, I just put down a pocket card from the pocket memory keeping kit. And then I used another little bit. I, when I made, cut this off, I cut it too wide. So this little extra bit was how much that I trimmed off the side of it. And I just decided to use it on the back. So, so there's that. So for my washi page, I did something different this month. Very happy with it. I'll probably do it again. Um, the bow is from Sparkle Princess Co. And then we have lots of washi. Um, the teal gingham is from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. The stripe is from the planner add-on. The yellow is from a previous kit. I just don't know. Maybe January, February. I don't know. The floral is from the planner kit. The pink came in the planner classified kit and the memory keeping pocket kit. And this white dotted wave, I think was from to the sea. Um, I had it out. It could have been from up and away, which was either July or April kits. I'm not sure which one. And then I love this plastic. You got this. That was from the memory keeping pocket kit. And I uh, cut a circle out of the uh, memory keeping paper. And then I cut a white scallop circle with my silhouette just out of white card stuck. And then this die cut came from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. And so I do make my own stickers for my planner tabs. I mean for my tabs, but uh, the tabs came in the planner kit. So on the back of that, I simply took a dashboard from the dashboard kit and put it right down on the opposite side of this page and kept moving. So I have my goals page here. I haven't filled it out yet, but um, I am trying to go back and look at my Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest board where um, I use if, I think it's IFFT maybe is the name of the app. So whenever I post something on Instagram, it automatically throws it onto my Pinterest board. And so then I just keep them sorted out um, by whatever. I have like a front pocket section, a dashboard section, that sort of thing. And I put all of my stuff on there, but I also throw other people's stuff in there too when I see something else that I really like if I'm in the mood for putting stuff on Pinterest. And so this is kind of a redo of um, a currently page that I did back in March. So um, the paper came from the memory keeping kit. And then this cute bow is from Peony's Papery. And I just took one of the die cuts and some of the um, paper. Uh, I cut the little tails out of the paper and put the die cut down here. This take it one day at a time. This is the notepad that I trimmed down and rounded the corners. And the take it one day at a time was at the top of the notepad. And that's from the planner kit. And then this is another notepad that's trimmed down. And then I just put a floral die cut from the planner add-on kit on the top of it. And then this really cute, it's a new day um, die cut is from the planner kit. And so that just made a really nice thing. So I'll get that filled in um, as I move along into the month. And so I just left that with the pink paper because I really like how it tied in with the pink over here kind of matched up and um, I use this notes page for my prayer page and this is also from the uh, loose a5 loose pages and here is the month on two pages and so I have decorated it it's not quite as where's Waldo as last month it does look a little busy but not quite as much last month I got a little crazy with the stickers um, so uh, the numbers came from the planner kit. The hexagons, which are really my favorite sticker, came from the sticker kit. And then these purple letters came from the planner add-on kit. And then there's some various other stickers in here. Um, the icons, 
Oh, I think they're from the sticker kit. I'm not sure. I think I hit, I think, I think, I'm not sure to tell you the truth. So anyway, so that's my month on two pages. And then this page is exactly the same every month for me. This is my focus on declutter. Each month I have a project to uh, declutter in my house. And I got these focus uh, clips at the beginning of the year from Opal Paper Co. And so I just try to stick them on this page. Sometimes I put the words declutter on here. Sometimes I just let it be focus. And I just print this page on my printer. I just love this page. Um, this was the last page in the A5 Dory book. I take an A5 Dory book and I cut it down. And so this was the back. It has um, Coco Daisy on it because it was the back just before the um, craft cover. And I, you know what? I liked that it had Coco Daisy on it because they make everything that's in this planner. So I like having their name on it too. So I loved this page. It just had a white open space here. And I decided that I wanted to put washi here. And so I did miter cut my washi. I was pretty happy about how that turned out. And um, I used the um, letters from the memory keeping. I think these are from the memory keeping sticker kit. That or the classic, but I think it's the memory keeping. And then the enamel uh, glitter flower dots were in the planner kit, the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit, and the pocket memory keeping kit. Um, and so I did make my bow myself. I have a video on how to make a planner bow if you're interested. I actually make this bow in the video. So if you want to watch that. So I'm just going to say I am not much of a person. I don't stamp very often. I am all about using my silhouette, not so much about stamping stuff. So, um, but the stamps this month, Kelly Winnell designed them of Kelly Stamps, and she's also on the design team for Coco Daisy. And so I knew that um, I was in, an, in a moment of supporting the sisterhood, I decided I would stamp something this month. And so, um, she had a page on her Instagram where she took a stamp and repeated it, and it was so cool. Mine is not nearly as perfect as hers, but when you have this much going on, it kind of hides it a little bit. So I did repeat the stamp back here, this um, this stamp, and um, the actual stamp was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. The bow is from Peony's Papery. I uh, cut the Sunshine Is My Favorite um, on white vinyl on my silhouette and just stuck it down. And then this is the packaging from Coco Daisy. And I just put a piece of washi over here from the planner add-on kit. And I put some sequins inside. And while it is a super cute idea, I'm just going to tell you that if you don't want to leave a little glitter everywhere you go, don't try this little project. I just I just stamped this, put it inside. Um, I think I put the washi there and I punched the holes. And so little bits of glitter are coming out everywhere. I find it, it's in my office, it's in my house, it's everywhere. So I'm wiping it off my desk constantly. See, there's a little piece of glitter right there. Wipe it off. And I just keep moving. But I like, you know, there's that saying, she leaves a little glitter everywhere she goes or a little sparkle everywhere she goes. So that's what I'm doing this month. And so I have this little um, dangle clip that came from one of the past kits. I really could not tell you. It says something about sunshine, so I'm guessing it was from last summer or last month. No, it could have been from, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I backed this up with a dashboard as well. I love the background paper from this dashboard and it says I focus on what I can control and let go of what I can't so that's very good that that's where my head needs to be so this is my planner section the first part was the monthly section and so this is where I make lists of what I'm going to do for my planner I haven't quite finished it I haven't made all the stickers so I haven't set up all my weekly pages but um, you can see I make lists and then I do some 
just some quick little sketches of what I want to do with my pages. I make a list of items that I want to use. Um, and so like this didn't even happen. Like I, I, I had this idea, but it just didn't, it just didn't work for, for what, then I made another list. I'm not even sure this is the same stuff that's on this other list, but you know, if you're going to make a list, you're going to make a list. So, um, this is my weekly daily tab and, uh, this little ribbon came from the March kits. And so I made this envelope when I saw these stamp stickers in the, um, in the planner add-on kit, I knew that I wanted to do something with an envelope and then use them like they were actually stamps. And um, let me get a little closer on that so you can see. So I have my little letter that I printed. I printed the little London stamp on the side of it. And then I, um, this paper is from the memory keeping kits. And I took another piece of this paper and I cut a tag on my silhouette. And that was some interesting going, but, but it worked. Um, the cording was left over from April. So I made this the cording was from April. Um, the doilies I just had in my stash. I put it on there. It looked like it needed something else. So I just put that in there. And, um, this gym down here is from Calibri Charms. And, um, these little stickers up here from the memory keeping sticker kit. This sticker was from the planner add-on. It's one of those heavyweight stickers or die cut stickers. And um, this one was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. So, um, yeah, so I really like how that turned out. I like that I got to use my stamp stickers as stamps. And then my little tag says, you've got happy mail, which... Happy Mail always makes me happy. And so I just left that floral because I really like that. And once again, I like the way that looked with that. Okay, so my this week, um, every week I do the exact same thing. I have a this week dashboard, I have a weekly spread, and then I have a social media spread. So my this week dashboard, I made my stickers for this week, Sheila and shopping. Sheila's my boss. Shopping is work shopping. So this is kind of work. This is work, and then I just put the hydrate in there too. So this is really mostly a work page. Um, the hydrate stickers come from the sticker kit, and this Things Are Looking Brighter came from the classic sticker kit, and then this sticker came from the sticker kit as well. And so I have set up my first weekly spread in this planner. I have not set up the rest of the weeks. So once again, I did make my... Um, week 31 and the day, and then each day of the week, I made those stickers. And then I had just used a, a group of stickers from all different places. Um, the icons come from the sticker kit. Um, this one came from the memory keeping sticker kit. And um, I make my own clear bookmarks and I use a different spread from the A5 Dory. I trim it down and hole punch it and put it in here. And so each week is different. So each one of my bookmarks looks different. If you're interested in making bookmarks like this that are see-through, uh, it's heavy laminate. Uh, I have a video. You can also see that. And um, so, yeah, so uh, the bow is from Lily and Lila Co. And so there's that. So that's my weekly spread of stuff that I'm doing. And I just put stickers down that worked with what I had going on that week. And I was going to write on them, but I haven't taken a before the pen photo, so I just left it like this. So then I have to go back to my monthly spread back here and figure out what these stickers are for. This is my social media planning page. I just use it to keep up with what the prompts are, when my blog post is due, things that I want to post on social media, um, that sort of thing. I just love that little bird right there. And I just love Simon, how he's peeking out even when, I'm, when I've got my book open. Both of those are making me very happy right now. So, um, yeah, so, uh, and these stickers came from the planner classified kit, the day of the week. Just, I just love those. They're really nice. So um, so I did set up the first week. 
and um, and I do glue, I stick some pages together. So this page and this page are just stuck together. And then this page and this page are stuck together because immediately following my social media, I go into my dailies. This is just the way I like setting it up. I have week and then I have day. And so I do print these on my printer, the date that is on them. I messed one of them up. You'll see it in a minute. Uh, when I made my bookmark for the weeks, I also make one for the today. This one's pretty yellow. Um, and then I have a little clip that says, Oh, happy day on the bottom of it that came from the previous kit. And so these are just dailies. There's nothing to see on them. I haven't written anything on them yet. I do start writing on them before I get into the planner though. So this will be my this week dashboard for next week or the next, this week 32. This will be my spread. This will be my social media spread. I've already printed the date on it. And then we get into the dailies. And so same thing here. This is my dashboard. I'll white out that and do that. This is my weekly spread. I accidentally stuck this the wrong set way, so it's a little sticky right there. There's my social media, and then we get into dailies. And I'm doing week 31 through 35 in this planner. I start my planner whatever week that the first day, first day of the week, first day of the month is on. Um, and so August the 1st, I think, is on a Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. It's in that first week, week 31. And so um, this is week 34. And then I end it with week 35. Uh, same thing. This will be my dashboard. This will be my spread. I love this spread. It's just a little paler after all that color. Um, it's just good. I just really like it with that hummingbird and the purples. I think I'm starting to like purple. I've never really been a purple person before. So you can see my social media spreads are all kind of exactly the same. And then there is the last of my daily pages. And so my budget dashboard, I... Um, I cut the white paper with my silhouette to make like a window pane. And then um, I backed it with a paper from the uh, memory keeping kits. And um, the dragonfly was from the planner add-on kit. The good vibes was from the pocket memory keeping kit. The floral die cuts were from either the planner or the planner add-on kits. They both had floral die cuts. Um, this little square die cut, I used it. There were two of them. I used both of them. Uh, this is from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit, as well as this die cut down here. And then I made this tassel. Um, and I will have a video coming up soon on how to do that. And so... Um, and I just went back in and I, I didn't really stitch this. I just used a pen. Well, you might not even be able to tell it from there, but you can see I used a pen to make it look like I stitched it. I started trying to stitch it and I decided that that was going to take like an hour and a half. And I just really didn't have an hour and a half at that moment. And so once again, just left this back with this floral paper. And then um, my last dashboard is my notes dashboard. And the doily, I cut that out on just with a piece of white cardstock on my silhouette. The flags are all from the memory keeping paper and I, papers, and I stapled them in. I think that's the first time I've ever stapled in my um, planner before. So yeah, I'm loosening up right here. Um, the arrow die cut right here was from the planner add-on. Uh, this Let's Have Fun die cut was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then these type die cuts, um, the one at the top was from the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit, and the rest of them are from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And so I just liked it. The top one says the last days of summer. And then there are just some things about the last days of summer, all of which gave me good feels. And then I used some more of those floral die cuts from the planner and the planner add-on kit. And then this little dangle, this little guy here, I ordered a bow from, a couple of bows from um, Pine and Peony, and they just sent this little um, dangle as a freebie, and it matched this kit perfectly, so I stuck it in there. So I thought it was really cute with all the different colors of the flags up here, and then all the different colors on the little dangle at the bottom. So just left this page blank. So every month I uh, die, I cut on my silhouette a piece of glitter paper or a piece of something that's bigger. I have to pull something from my stash because um, it's a little bit wider than 
than the Coco Daisy papers. I could use the one with the fold right here, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to experiment with that. But um, yeah, I just cut this out of glitter paper out of my stash, and um, and then I threaded a little white grow grain ribbon in there, and. You know, I don't usually do this, but I just left the back of this blank because I feel like I feel like this is the pretty part of my planner and this like we're down to hard work now. Once that the the purpose of this paper is to hide the ugly that's back here, but it really isn't ugly. I just say that. Um so yeah, so I didn't even cover the back of that. So there you see, that's the behind the curtain. So um, I just printed up this week by the number so that I could keep up with what week it is. I really like, um, I like knowing what week it is of the year. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going week 31 through 35 in this planner. And then, so I just created that and printed it up myself. It's an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I did download the Excel spreadsheet or I copied the, week list from the web somewhere. I didn't type it all up. Um, these inserts here are from Jane's Agenda, and there is a 2020 calendar on one page, and then there is a list of holidays. I love these um, inserts. And then there's a dashboard for the month, and then the month itself. And I use pencil back here. It looks pretty good in January. By the time I've gotten to like July and August, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just just like scratching stuff on the page. It is just very functional. It's always pencil so that I can erase it and move it around because I do put stuff, you know, I'm I'm putting stuff in for the whole whole year. And you can tell I haven't really filled in September that much because quite frankly, everything's on hold right now. But I do have everyone's birthdays in here and um, things that I know already are planned out. So um, so this is how I forward plan. I don't think these were, I moved these from planner to planner and I don't think these were in my planner the last time when I did a flip through. And then I have just on the last page, I have 2021 and I have all the dates of things that I already know are going to happen Hopefully, in 2021, all of them have to do with Mardi Gras, but that's just the way my life is. And then at the very back, I have a sticker pocket. Um, I have I just put a couple of stickers in it right now. Um, I don't put a lot of stickers in here. Usually, what I do is I put my alphabet stickers in here so that I don't have to go flipping through all the other stickers trying to find my alphabet stickers. Um, but I just put a couple in here right now to look nice while I was flipping through it. I also put the um, a few little pages of the notepad and of the sticky note. And the sticky note has a saying on it that went sideways and I thought that looked funky. So I put one of the puffy stickers on it. Um, both of these notepads, the sticky notepad and the notepad come from the planner kit. The puffy sticker came from either the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit or the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. And um, I'm just going to sacrifice this sticky note. So if I need a sticky note, I'll pull up two and put this one back down so that then it just won't look so funny. Um, and then this Focus on the Good came from the um, Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. This paper, Both of these papers, the outside paper and the paper that I made the pockets from, came from the planner kit and then the pom-pom was from my stash and so and then this little um pocket i end up putting receipts and i don't know what in this pocket and so it's just a plain pocket that goes in the back it's plastic and it feels good i don't know if you can see this but see how my glitter it just gets glitter right in here and so there'll be glitter in this planner forever after this so yeah so i've done this about 40 times in the one week that I've had this planner starting to set up. So um, this page was cut out of the Traveler's Notebook from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And I just love this. These are the last days of summer. Enjoy every moment of them. And so I thought, you know, we'll get to the end of August and then I'll have this quote about the last days of summer. And I just really liked that whole thought, even though I live in Florida and the last days of summer are really mm, the beginning of October. 
So, and I live in Northern Florida. So if you live in Southern Florida, it's probably even later than that. And then the pin for the kit, I'm just going to show it off one more time. Everything blooms in its own time and it's rose gold and it's shimmery white with pink gems in the center. And it is so very pretty. So I am very excited to get into this very colorful and full planner. I hope you are having fun setting yours up. And thank you for watching my video. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe. And I hope you come back and watch another video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.